Hi everybody, it's Nadia here again and I'm bringing to you a makeup tutorial by Miss A. So, apart from the foundation obviously, everything else is Miss A. So, if you want to see me um, applying this, then carry on watching. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button, tap the bell to let you know when I bring out more videos also uh, if I could have some likes guys because YouTube is messing around again and I've lost lots of my thing is so um, people that watch me so come on guys give me some thumbs up uh, you know and um, and I would really 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 appreciate it so and also we're uh, if you want to leave a comment below about whatever of this video then please do or even if you want me to do a tutorial on anything else um i don't know whether i might do a lip swatch of all these lips lipsticks that i got from miss a um if you want to see that let me know in the comments below um so yeah let's get into what i did with the miss a so and i will also be coming back at the end to let you know how it looked if you get what i mean how long it lasted basically so see you right so all i've done is i've just mattified my face with i've actually put the dream foundation on with some color trend foundation the things that i'm trying to use up basically um this is the miss hale and obviously as we know if you've watched the miss hale this was supposed to be a bronzer and it broke but that's not my color at all so i am going to repress it and i'll probably use it as an eyeshadow so i'm going to go in with this glam bronze from l'oreal and hopefully just bronze myself sound like right freak sometimes <coughs> no wonder my daughter's like disowns me so so that's that um and then i'm going to go in with a different brush for my blusher now i don't know which one to go for because i've uh, technically got the all pit on the pink shade side that's the coral one and then this is really so i don't think it'll be the coral or that so i might actually try this mineral brush blush the dark one i think the darkest one so and like i said these were equivalent to 50p oh i don't know that's all right just checking on the back of me and that don't i'm not gonna look silly that's quite a nice blush looks really intense on there but it's not so it's really nice that's really pretty so i've it's not sitting on top of my skin at all you can still see but then again that's the foundation um you know my marks through so zoom in if you can see what i mean you can actually still see some marks on my face but what can you do about it it's not this it's the foundation obviously so guys I was going to use this contour stick, like I said, but again, it's it's copper. I can't I can't put myself through that. So so that is that, and I didn't get a highlighter. Actually, I wonder if this would do for a nice highlighter. This one, shall we see? Because it is. I know it's pink, but. It's got some 
it's got a lot of fallout if anything it's more of a bl blusher topper so hmm. can you see it i think that looks quite pretty actually um i'm going to use some of this sugar lip scrub uh, from there and Mm. it's so nice not having gunky fingers after you've done it it's not the best tasting thing in the world but it's lip scrub so I'm going to put some of this lip care on that's also from the Miss A or she said that she tries to see it I don't want a thick layer, I just want a nice thin layer so that when I come to putting on some lips, I look beautiful. I'm going to try the brow pomade from there and it's not, they're that stiff, they just won't be in. So they're, they're actually a fail. So. So I will actually go in with my, um, it's still a cheap brand, it's the number two from Miss Beauty. Let's get into these brows. I should have actually gone and had my HD done again. But as usual, I was asleep. And then just push through, just to diffuse it a little bit because I do like this blonde pencil. It does look nice now I've had my eyebrows done. So I think we're going to use this palette over this one. I might mix, I don't know, um, see how the shade goes. So I'm just going to use a big brush and put down a light white base coat. And there is a lot of fallout, so you're waiting for the. That's not my base kit, actually. Right, so I'm going to take a elf brush, fluffy brush, and I think I'm going to go with this one into the light pink. So. So, I've got quite a lot of palettes, if somebody would like to request, because I've got two, both Too Faced, three, all three or four Too Faced, then I'm going to go in there with the dark one in this palette. Um, and I know people are like, well, you advertise that people have this product, this is not working at all no pigment no nothing and then they use it wouldn't show you a review and demo and then you never see it on them again unless they actually come to you so because i know and i have got these palettes if anybody would like a color from say the chocolate or the sweet or the bonbon or literally any of them because I've got more of the peach. The only ones are, oh, I've got the peanut butter one as well. Um, but yeah, anything, this is taking a long time, guys. Anything like that, then just let me know. I would happily do that. And also, I'd love it if you'd give me some thumbs up i know I'm, I'm begging for them but 
the way YouTube works is I you have uh, obviously the people that subscribe to you and for some reason again youtubers I've lost like five I think it is of my regulars and obviously it's not like I can turn around to them and say you were a regular did you actually unsubscribe or not this is starting to look like my old makeup tutorial uh, so yeah I'm not impressed with this palette at all I'm really I'm struggling really struggling to get some colour on it so I'm just going to get another eyeshadow palette to put some or pigments to put in the middle of my eyes. So this is the Kiko one and I'll tell you the number one it's sad because I've got a load of it now. It's got like um, the bounce bit that it's, it's a spongy ball. I should have just used this. Yes. So first impressions is no, don't like that. Don't like them at all. Won't be using them again. So some sp I know it's quite sparkly anyway. But... Oh yes, this is the Kiko like waterfall one. So definitely not impressed with that lot at all. I wasn't high shadows are rubbish. So um so I'm actually going to try some of this glitter liner and we shall see. That's quite nice actually. Just open it tries. So this lip pencil, um, these were from eBay and then I'm going to be using the Madly Matte lip gloss. I can't tell you the colour because once I took it off they didn't even got a colour shade so I'm just hoping this works. Keep licking the middle bit so it's not going on properly. Right, so I'm hoping these dry matte. So, so I'm using this colour and we shall see how it goes. Smells of marzipan. Barely does smell of marzipan. Definitely the wrong lip liner, but let's see how this, if it dries down or not. And then I'm not going to use the mascara, we know it's a Revlon one. Um, I'm just going to use, yeah, I didn't get an eyeliner, so, and I thought these two wouldn't go with this lipstick, so, um, so there's no point in using them. And just going to use the Miss Beauty one and then so I'm back and I can tell you so far that to start off with I don't like the eyeshadows from Miss A this lipstick is so tacky my lips are just sticking together 
so not overly impressed i think if anything i'd have to put a gloss on top of this or the same color lipstick to actually use it um but it really is um we'll have to try out the rest of the colors so if you want to um me to do a lip swatch let me know down below on these colors um because yeah I don't know if they're all going to be like this or it's just this one colour and yeah I've done the, done the rest of the stuff my mascara and eyeliner off, off camera but as you know I didn't use Miss Beauty because it was a Revlon one so I didn't see the point um, but I will be coming back to you to tell you the wear time and how it looks afterwards um, so yeah we shall see how the, it actually wears although I know I've put two different eyeshadows on so but we can see how the bronzer and the blush are in the rest goes but yeah that's it see you soon so guys I'm back with the Miss A and the blush has hold it up let's get a mirror because I can see the blush in there yes I do like the blush uh, I ended up packing a lot more eyeliner on because it just wasn't showing which I did say when I used it um, the eyes I've just mixed into one colour um, so they're like gone a dirty grey now and the liner that I use that that is still going strong on my eyes and for my conclusion with the Miss A eyeshadows no the lip mattes that I tried were eh -eh. they were nice when it was on it was really nice when it was on but it was still extremely tacky still so if anything i could would probably like put a lip gloss on just to i keep it as like a lipstick basically is what i'm trying to say um definitely the uh liner on my eyes yes eyeshadows no but i already said no and the brushes definitely so and any, anything else that's in the missy all i haven't actually physically tried yet so but if they're in videos then you will know whether i liked it or not so if you're new to my channel hit the subscribe button and tap that bell and it'll tell you when i bring out more videos and also if you want to leave a comment below on what you actually thought of this look i would not recommend the eyeshadows maybe a different quad or a different one but no them two weren't work for me is all i'm going to say so i'll see you in my next one bye